In this clip we'll take a look at the loads dialog here in Leap Bridge Steel Connect Edition. When you first open the dialog uh, you'll see there's at a minimum an initial and final stage and if you've defined any additional stages in the deck placement sequence window those will show up here as well. So let's see how this dialog works. So I've set my stage here to initial and on the left is that load combination and the only loads in here are the self weight of the steel and the self weight of the cross frames and stiffeners. At this point if you wanted to add additional loads you would come over here to the right to let's say this dead load DC1 group you right click here and you tell it you want to add a load. Once you do that, you double click the load and then you can go ahead and define uh, the load. You can give it a more meaningful name, whatever that load represents. And then when you define the load, you tell the software, is this a, a trapezoidal load, a point load, or a moment load? Um, and is this applied to um, the group as a whole? Is it applied, you know, where is it applied uh, along the structure? And then, uh, depending on the load type, uh, depends on the values that you'll input over here. Again, it could be trapezoidal, uh, there could be point loads, there could be moment loads. So if it's trapezoidal, uh, for the um, value would be the load in kips, um, or kips per foot, depending on, on what the option is here. And then for the location, uh, this is either in feet along the length of the girder starting at zero, or it is a relative option. And relative is such that you're uh, at the beginning, the value is zero, and at the end of the beam, relative location would be one. And then you, again, simply give us uh, whatever that load is along the length of the, of the girder. So that's how you define a load. Once the load is defined, if you want to add it to a load combination on the left, you simply uh, drag and drop it from the window here on the right over to the left. Um, from there, if we go take a look at stage one, again, it's the self weight of the steel plus the cross frames, and now it includes the weight of the slab from stage one. Uh, from there uh, we go on to stage two and you'll notice for any new loads that are added in a given stage they show up here in a bold font so it's easy to uh, discern uh, which loads have been added at a given stage. Now in the final stage by default uh, the software auto will automatically create a strength one combination, a service two, and a fatigue combination. Again, just as we saw a moment ago, if you want to create something new or edit any of these, uh, please right click on them. And you can, like I said, you can add combinations out here or you can right click and you can edit the combinations that are already there. Uh, by default, we have the default values in here uh, for the multipliers for your DCs and DWs and so forth. Uh, you can also turn on user specified and override those values uh, relative to what's in the code. So again, strength one, service two, and fatigue are here. If we drill down into these, uh, we'll see that we have the entire uh, dead load of the structure here. Uh, plus, for under live load by default, it will have your HL93 vehicle here for strength one and service two. And then for fatigue, we have the fatigue truck in there. Again, at, at any point, uh, in any stage, you can add loads here on the right. And then once you add a load, if you want to apply it to any of the load combinations here on the left, you can click and hold down on it and drag and drop it over here. Uh, you can also right click on a given load and you can add it to all combinations of the current stage. So that's our overview of the loads dialog here in Leap Bridge Steel Connect Edition.